Hey there, Ash here from Quoter, and today I'm going to walk you through our Salesforce integration, how we pull people from Salesforce, find associated deals to those accounts, allow you to easily select both, and quickly publish a quote. Let's jump in. I'm going to start in Salesforce and just show you the data that we have in our integration already. So I have three opportunities here, two are for the account do IT. And under contacts, if I jump over there, you'll see I've got this contact Ash Welsh, again, under that account, do IT. We've got email and basic other information about the account. Let me jump over to Quoter, and I'm gonna quickly jump in and create a new quote here. I'll do a cloud services quote. And one of the things I wanna highlight is just how fast this is and how easy it is to use. So we've defaulted Salesforce as where we're looking for existing people. That's based on the user session, but there's also a default in the settings. You can easily change that if you need to. We don't in this case. Type in Ash. Very quickly, we get all the results from Salesforce. That's very quick, even if there are hundreds or thousands of results as well. I'm using a Sandbox account here, but just note that we do focus on speed. So that API call and the response back is very quick. Now I want to draw your attention to Deal Selector. We saw that there were two deals for Do It in the Salesforce site. I could select those or I can create a brand new deal. So depending on your workflow or what has been set up in Salesforce for the specific use case, you can approach it either way. Moving down very quickly, I can input the quantity I need for my different items, make some basic selections around the type of options I want, and then down at the bottom, publish quote. So I really want to highlight here how quick it is and easy to use for new staff learning quoter or for those using it on a regular basis. Just this morning, I was talking with a partner who had moved from ConnectWise Cell to Quoter, and then they merged with another MSP that was using QuoteWorks. They chose Quoter at the end of the day as their single source of truth for sales enablement, and they ramped up staff very quickly. People loved the interface. They found it very easy to use, and onboarding was not a challenge at all. So it was exciting to hear that and just nice to be validated that our approach is appreciated in the marketplace. Now, if I jump back over to Salesforce and go to the accounts here, you can see that we have three opportunities now under do IT. We have the one that was in there before, managed services. We have the earlier quote that was in there as well for quote 2733 and this one that we just added. So I can jump into that. I can see all the details of the quote, the workstations we added, Office 365 seats we added. We've got a PDF of the quote. We can also drill down into these line item details and get the descriptions of the items. And we can even drill down further and get the product codes. So you can see you've got all the data you need in Salesforce here from that quote. If we were to revise that quote, we would automatically sync the changes back to Salesforce. And just going back to the integration settings here to walk you through those quickly, you can see that we've got a lot of configuration options here for what you want to do and how you want to use this integration. You can decide not to push data to Salesforce if you just want to use it as a source of truth for accessing people or products. You've got integration setting options where you can decide if you want to create products in Salesforce or not. Obviously, you've got all your category mapping options, and then down at the bottom, you have your status mapping as well. So lots of flexibility here, really easy to use, easy to set up integration, and you can send quotes in seconds. Hope you found that helpful. Please take a look at the links in the description below, and as always, happy quoting.